We are an organisation which is in the field of evidence-based healthcare, so across the health professions, not solely focused on medicine, as maybe the Cochrane Collaboration have certainly been in the past, um, but across the allied health professions and certainly in nursing. Um, we're an international collaboration of health scientists. We spread right across the globe. Um, the organisation was uh, founded and located at the University of Adelaide, in Adelaide, and we're a not-for-profit, we recognise as a not-for-profit evidence-based healthcare research institute. And we really have uh, our mission and our vision is to improve global health and to do so by providing point-of-care access to evidence databases, decision support systems and implementation, evaluation and continuous improvement tools. Now we do all of that and it really is centred around th this model which, which conceptualises things quite nicely. You can see right at the middle of that circle is evidence-based practice and the three key things that it hinges on. One is of course the evidence and certainly um, uh, clinician judgement and also client preference. And I'll start just to the, in the yellow wedge which is where we're aiming for, to improve global health. Now in that purple wedge you can see there's evidence, um, healthcare evidence generation. This is all the primary research, what a lot of PubMed, for example, Medline is full of. And um, we don't do too much in there, but you can see some of the range of tools that are available in JBI at Ovid. There are some down here which can help with actual res primary research undertakings. But most of the work, the real work that we do at the Institute moves across the, the rest of the range of colours, the green, the blue and the red. And in the green this is all about evidence synthesis and systematic reviews, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with and we'll touch on again later in this presentation and how librarians and champions again can work, and clinicians can all work together in terms of identifying topics and actually really uh, um, um, conducting rigorous systematic reviews to then inform the rest of this cycle. So we have tools that can aid in the conduct of systematic review um, and also importantly we don't just stop there in terms of evidence synthesis but another real important part of evidence-based healthcare um, and really what we're all about in this field of we call it translational health science, is being able to transfer that knowledge. And this is where we're moving into this blue zone. And this is where a lot of the products that are in the evidence-based database that you'll find in JBI at Ovid um, really find their home. Those evidence summaries are short snapshots now um, of uh, a clinical question being asked, the evidence has been referred to, and here's the good oil, here's what the evidence is saying should be done in this situation. Now remember one of the uh, main uh, ethos of evidence-based healthcare is that we don't just blindly follow the evidence, this is evidence-informed decision-making. But if, it is, if it's presented there in that way it makes it much easier for the clinician to then pick it up and decide whether this actually applies in this situation for this particular patient or not. Ultimately they do have to make that final decision but that should come into play. play. Um, and moving from that idea of transfer, so we have tools that let you create your own um, manuals for example, or even information pamphlets for consumers, but you can move into this all important field of actually getting the evidence into practice and seeing that it makes some change in the process of healthcare, so what clinicians are actually doing, and also ultimately having some impact on patient outcome. And there are tools available here to help you record and monitor and undertake those sorts of processes um, within a healthcare facility. 